Welcome to the latest instalment of Build Yourself a Wind Turbine and Solar System. <laughs> this is actually the wind turbine as it now looks today. Uh, I've actually made a box for the. Well, actually, I, I had someone make a box for the back. It's made out of aluminium. Uh, I'll give you a quick breakdown of all the bits as I take it off. Hopefully, I can keep this on foot on camera while well, I do it. Uh, the actual box I should have a look. If I can get it off, that comes off. As you can see, the box itself has been made out of aluminium, which is 2mm aluminium. Uh, I decided to actually go for this shape because it looks neater, obviously. And as you can see it from all angles, it's got a cutaway for the front. I've have to, I've got to make that's a lid, so I've got to make it sort of waterproof, which is important. Uh, the wind turbine itself, the generator is actually a future energy, uh, made in Scotland. It's but it's what what they actually seem to do: take a car drum, brake drum, and convert it about in the inside into a three-phase generator. And you end up using with uh, three wires coming out the back, like this. Uh, down there, you've got three separate wires coming out. This design on the bracket assembly. It was actually made, uh, designed by, by myself uh, and an engineer who I've got in, in sort of the area where I live in Sprouston in Norwich. Uh, it's very hard to find people who can actually do these sort of things, but he's, he had the time to do it and did me the did it for, for a small fee, I might add. This is a prototype, but it's actually in pretty good nick. Uh, the actual bottom half of it, I don't know if you can see that, is made up of a piece of aluminium it's actually machined out on a lathe. On the underside of it, there's actually a shaft going through the centre, which is a, which is bolted to the other the other the other piece of plate, the top bracket. I've actually used an insulating material between it to try and damp down some of the actual noise going through the generator, because the generator does make a little bit of vibration as the magnets pass the the poles of of the actual each other. You know, so it's what something you have to put up with. The uh, I've made actually a top hat assembly so it actually fits in a scaffolding clamp straight on a 50mm scaffolding pole which seems to be the best way to do it. I've actually redesigned the tar slightly so I'll show you that a little bit later. Uh, this is my actually slip ring assembly as you can see. Uh, I've actually got four brushes one there, one there and then the other ones are actually just below it. I don't know if you can see that. So if you look at it sideways One's on top of the other. This is a custom setup, been built one off. I couldn't find anybody to actually help to help me design it, except my engineer who actually did a little bit more work to it and made it work properly. The the centerpiece, the slip ring, you can get them, but you have to you have to special order them generally if you've got a build like this. This is a custom built top for it. Uh, the two cores come off these these bolts here. I'm trying not to get my fingers in the way. Uh, and the power comes through the center. Up the car, up the cable, up the pole, out the top touches those two. There, the brushes convey the the actual the, the actual uh, 12 volts to these points on here, which I'll show there. Them two. There's enough clearance between the two of them, so there's no problem with them at all. Uh, the other bit I need on this generator is a rectifier kit, which is this, which I used on my old one. And the idea of this one is when I finish with it later on. That's got to be actually fitted to the back. The wires have got to be nice and tidy. I'm going to make them shorter than they are at the minute. And I'll actually just run the three wires to the connector, but I'll make that neater as well. The other end of it has two wires, and they attach to the actual brushes, so you can actually put the juice down the actual down the centre of the slipping. Um, it's it's taken me quite a while to get this right. It's taken me a fair bit of money to do it, but not an excessive amount of money. But it is the first generation of it. I'm hoping later on to actually re-engineer it and make it slightly cheaper. But in my book, if it can't last 25 years, it's rubbish. So <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoy this instalment. I'll just show you about the actual tar in a second, alright? Thank you.